Welcome to Architecture Technology at Los Angeles Trade Technical College. This is a real-time video. Uh, what we're going to learn today is how to bring an image into Autodesk Architecture and convert it to a scale. In this case, we have the Sports Arena from the Environmental Impact Report. And here we have a graphic scale, which is 100. And we're going to bring this image into Autodesk and align this entire image to scale. So the first thing we're going to do here, I'm going to do what is called print screen. And then nothing happens. You don't really see anything. Every single computer has a button called print screen. Sometimes you got to do a pen or control print screen. But it's basically in your background. So you're going to downsize these. And there's multiple ways to do it. You can just actually do right clip, clipboard, and paste it. But we found out that some computers don't like that because then the command doesn't like it and some of the uh, the alignment command doesn't work. So we did that, but right now we're going to delete it and then we're actually going to bring it here as an attachment. We're going to attach it. We're gonna find it in our directory. This is called uh, file directory right? File management. That's a very important skill to know. Uh, but first, I need to save that image as a JPEG. So you can do it in multiple ways. This is what is called image manipulation. You can do it in Photoshop. You can do it on PowerPoint because basically all we want to do is convert that image into a JPEG. So I kind of like PowerPoint. So you could have used Photoshop. You can even do it on Word. You can do it in um, Image Maker by Microsoft. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it. And the cool thing is that uh, even PowerPoint now is an image manipulation environment. I am going to crop it. So I'm going to go Format, Crop It. And I just so I don't have, I don't need to, but just so it's not so busy in AutoCAD. And I'm going to go ahead and go save as. And this is what are called file name. But this is what is called save as a type. So what do they mean as a type? That's, they should say save as a file type. So basically, that's your extension. You can save it as a PDF, as a TIFF, as a JPEG. So we want to save it as a JPEG. This is an image extension. This is different PowerPoint extensions. So these are called file types. Basically, that's the program behind it. So AutoCAD is .dwg, uh, Word is .doc, PowerPoint is .ppt, and many times some of these softwares don't talk to each other. But now we're getting into what is called interoperability, that the extension files. Another way to call file types is called extension files. Is the extension of the file. So you're going to go JPEG. I'm going to say save it, but where do I want to save it? I don't want to just save it under my documents because then my computer will look all disorganized. So I'm going to save it under full, drafting 63, videos, resources. I'm going to make a new folder called images, right? And this is called file management. This is a foundation skill, right? And um, right here, I'm going to, and I should do it, um, sports arena image right and do i want every slide no i just want the current slide so now i'm just going to downsize it i could close it downsize it now i'm going to go back to autodesk going to downsize and now i'll be able to attach it and where is it going to be these are fundamental skills of computer technology you're learning fundamental skills within a class so we're going to go under c fall 2013 drafting 63 images sports arena and then you're going to open it the reason we're going through this long procedure and this is kind of like fundamental computer skills is because otherwise autodesk does, does not open the image so this is applying knowledge of fundamental skills so you're going to say okay and then here you can actually insert it and there it is so now it's not as a copy and paste as we were doing it before, clipboard and paste, but you're actually attaching it. Most of softwares have now what is called the attachment, right? Finally, Microsoft and Autodesk 
uh, understood each other's systems. It used to be very chaotic, but now you have Autodesk uh, program menu. Does that look like Microsoft? This is all Microsoft language and organization. That's the architecture of Microsoft, new, open, safe. And then here you have the, the ribbon that belongs to Autodesk, home, insert, annotate, render, view. But under home, if you're doing architecture, it will have here walls and windows. If you're doing plumbing, it will have docks and, and fixtures. You have electrical, you will have wired boxes and cables and so on. So now the next thing, now we're getting to what we want to do, right? All these kind of fundamentals to get to what we want to do. So we want to draw a line that is 100. So the first thing we're going to zoom in, scroll it down, and we're going to draw a line. The closer you can be, the better. Because when you're on site, six inches is a lot. So you're going to draw a line from here to... And actually, let me escape. I'm going to close here my command line because it's too big on my screen. And later on, I'll bring it back. Then I can zoom out even a little bit more because this line is very important. And I'm going to go from here to here. Notice how big is my image. 8 feet, 2 inches, and 1 16. 8 feet, 2 and 16 inches. So obviously, this image, how much does it need to enlarge? It needs to be 100 feet. So what I'm going to do here on my right, I'm going to draw a 100 feet. Now, you could do it this way. This is new Autodesk. You see the dimensions on your left. Can you guys see it on the screen? Yes. But now I'm going to actually type 100 feet. Enter. Right? Escape. Now, so what the word the command called alignment, you're going to go here, and I want to turn on my command line again. So right here under view, you have this button that Martha helped us to remember that button the other day, command line. And we're going to go right here, and we're going to type align. So what are we aligning? We're aligning this line and this image. Those are the two objects that we're aligning enter to this line so we're going to go i want the top of this line to be as big as the top of this line and i want the bottom of this line to get as big as this line so now we don't have a third point we could have a third point but right now we don't have a third point so now we're going to enter now the, the computer is telling me do you know that it's going to get bigger yes but what happened is that sometimes you could align without it getting bigger so yes, I want it to get bigger. And the computer now works very fast, so you're not gonna see actually on getting big. So all you do is yes, and there it is. So if we are correct, we're gonna go under annotate, measure, and we're gonna choose the top and the bottom. And we gotta work with the scale because this is too small, but if we zoom in, it should be what? A hundred, genius. Thank you.